know, honestly, um, the way it came about with me for this race, Billy uh, started collecting engines years ago, these vintage engines. And probably eight or 10 years ago, I got a JD, a 1925 JD off of him. And it really got me interested in it. And um, uh, I'd say last year, year and a half ago, when he started putting this plan together, I, I, I heard that he was doing it. And I, I called him up. I was actually in the city running some errands with my wife. And I called him up and I said, you know, I hear about this amazing thing that you're putting together. And he was like, you know what? I was just thinking about you. I was going to give you a call and see if you were interested. And we started talking about it. And he had this uh, 1917 Indian Power Plus, an engine that was just his one extra engine that was the one that he would let go. And I said, well, if you got something available, I'd love to start putting something together. And, um, and that's what I ended up with is, is this 1917 Indian uh, Power Plus. So, um, uh, you know, we talked back and forth and, and he's just such a wealth of information as far as this kind of thing. And, you know, it's, uh, it's been amazing kind of going on this journey with, with him through this whole process because, you know, he's been taking this thing on a hundredfold compared to anything that, uh, you know, we individuals are doing. I mean, I, you know, we've all got the one bike to worry about or some of us, like I built my own bike from the ground up and he's built, you know, 20 of them from the ground up. So I, I admire him from that, for that so much. It's amazing what he's accomplished. You know, because Larry and I were, you know, we were close friends for so many years. And then uh, I guess we just started to get in touch. You know, we started to run into Billy at, at Bike Week and some of the events when he was, you know, a little, you know, he was still kind of early on. And we just kind of clicked, you know, and he, he and Billy loved, I mean, he and Larry loved each other. They got along so great. They used to love just running around and getting in trouble together. And I would kind of, you know, I would just do my own thing and let them just go nuts, you know, it was great. And, um, and they, be, you know, they became super close. We all did. And, let, you know, Billy loved Larry. And Larry admired Billy so much for his talent and just the way that he could handle himself with people. Because they would, both of them would say that to me because they would both get hit so hard at the events, you know, with um, fans and all this kind of thing. And I would just kind of, you know, be on the sidelines, you know, just kind of doing my own thing. And they used to kind of watch each other for like, moral support you know how to deal with the how overwhelming things would get and um, you know there was a real special bond there between uh, Billy and Larry and you know back to the whole uh, racing thing when I was putting the 17 together and you know going through the process talking to Billy from time to time it came up um, a few times how much Billy would have loved to have had Larry involved in this, you know, and, and of course, you know, he would have gotten such a kick out of doing this, like a, a kid in a candy store, you know. So, um, you know, I've got a few things on my bike, some little trinkets that Larry had, had given to me and some stuff that were personal to him, you know, that, that I've got built into the bike. And, you know, Billy was really excited about that because it's kind of bringing a little bit of Larry into it and having him sort of like, you know, here with us a little bit. So anyway. Um, but it's kind of an emotional, meaningful thing for everybody involved because it's intense, you know. You can't just order up all these parts or walk into a showroom and take one of these off the floor. It's, it's really a piece of you because you have to be so committed, you know, to source everything you need and make what you can't get and, you know, really put your heart and soul into it to make it work. And, you know, these are uh, important machines and this is a really pivotal, important event for all of us. I couldn't have asked for anything more. Yeah, right. it's super awesome. Because I know that's about right.